good morning students welcome to online class hope you are keeping well by the grace of god so students today i am going to teach you english literature from your english reader book guys in my previous lecture i taught you the poem in chapter number 10 the village schoolmaster by oliver goldsmith in short i would like to tell you that through this poem the poet has conveyed a message to the readers and what is the message the poet has presented a contrast between the rural life and the urban life he has presented quite vividly through the lines that what is the lifestyle of the rural people they are innocent the villagers though they are illiterate and the children they used to study in open air school amidst the nature amidst the bushes and shrubs there is no school building open air that is the village school masters school and the students and the teacher simultaneously enjoyed teaching and studies they used to joke they used to crack jokes they used to do merriment and the teacher also and this village school master he was treated and he was respected as the most intelligent person in the village he was treated as the man of wisdom in the village because the villagers they were innocent mostly they were farmers or they were in animal husbandry or the cattle rearer or the goat rearer so this is the contrast and urban life the poet wants to say that it is the artificial life people they do live on artificiality so village school open air school it has been replaced by concrete building in urban areas there are classrooms in blocks and teaching methodology also it has been changed in the urban areas that is quite vivid at current time it is quite clear so the poet wants to say that innocence carefree life open air school merriment those are the chief features or characteristics of village life and the village school master is attitude his expression that is far different from the urban school teachers so this is the message or we can say a tone of nostalgia that is visible in the concluding part of the poem so guys this much i was wanting to share with you that this message message oliver uh, goldsmith he has left for the readers through the lines of the poem the village school master and that village school master he symbolizes the countryside school teachers village school master in the poem is symbolic goldsmith he has created the character of the school master as the symbol of countryside school teacher so guys this much i wanted to share with you and today one more new poem i am going to start and that is on chapter 12 in your reader book chapter number 12 guys those who have book you can open the book 
chapter 12 in your english reader book the poem lord yulin's daughter students i would like to tell you that why i have chosen this poem because it is one of the outstanding poems of the poet thomas campbell the poet is thomas campbell one of the remarkable and outstanding poems of thomas campbell and i do like this poem very much and when you will come to know about the content of the poem you will also like the poem though it is in chapter 12 but i have chosen this and the previous poems or chapters definitely i will teach you online or when the school will reopen we are not going to skip those chapters but i have selected this poem today because this is my choice i like this poem very much because the content it is outstanding and superb thomas campbell chapter 12 lord yulin's daughter campbell he was born in july 27 students you open the notebook note down the name of the poem lord yulin's daughter by thomas campbell p h o m a s c a m p b e l l thomas campbell lord yulin's daughter l o r d lord u l l i n apostrophe s daughter you know the spelling so you note down the date of birth and when did he die thomas campbell he was born in july 27 1777137 in glasgow scotland glasgow comma scotland and he died in june 15 151844 that means from late 18th century to mid 19th century so guys lord evelyn's daughter this poem it has been presented in ballad form students i have already used this term ballad once again you can note down b a l l a d what is ballad ballad a long poem or folklore a o l k l o r e ballad or folklore based on countryside incident or event that is called ballad it tells something some incident some event remarkable incident or event that is called ballad so this is you can say a ballad or this poem is written in ballad style so guys in this poem or ballad we find four characters those are lord yulin lord yulin's daughter the chief dane of ulva and the boatman you can note down there are four characters in the poem within bracket ballad lord yulin u l l i n character number 2 lord yulin's daughter chief dane c h chief dane c h i e f t a i n spelling i repeat c h i e f t a i n chief dane of ulva u l v a and the fourth character is the boatman 
So there are four characters in the ballad. So guys, I am going to read this poem. So listen to the poem carefully. And the, the poem consists of 11 stanza. 11 stanza. 